This is another technique of sharpening a channel, except this time we're going to be sharpening just the luminosity channel in LAB. Now, this is not lab mode. It's called LAB mode. Let's get into that, and I'll show you what I mean. All right, we're going to go with the flower here. And when, like I say, when we sharpen in LAB mode, we have to look at something here first. Let's look at our channels. You can see here we have red, green, and blue because we're in RGB mode. When we change to LAB mode by going up to the image menu and go over to mode LAB or LAB color, we can see that the channels change. It's not red, green, blue anymore. Now it's lightness, A, and B. A and B contain the color information and the lightness channel contains the luminosity. So this is the channel that we're going to be sharpening. So this way we don't get any color fringing in, uh, as we did in some of the other methods. So what we're going to do is first let's go back to our layers and let's duplicate this layer. And I'm going to name this layer LAB because we're going to compare this with, a, uh, with an RGB sharpening. So now I'm going to go back over to my channels. I'm going to just click on the lightness channel. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the unsharp mask. Okay, here we are. You can see it sharpened it up quite a bit. And also I'm at 66.7%, so I'm just going to kick that up to 100% enlargement just by holding down my command or control key and typing the plus so we can get a little better feel of what's going on here. Now, I'm going to over-sharpen this a little bit because I want to be able to show you some differences between LAB and RGB. So basically, you just go in and you dial in the amount of sharpness that you want with the amount and the radius, etc., just like you do in an RGB image, and you click OK. Now, you click back on the uh, channel that's LAB that shows everything, so here's all your colors. Let's go back over to the Layers palette. and I can show you the non-sharpened and the sharpened versions of the image. And this is pretty sharp, and uh, it's probably over-sharpened a little bit, but, uh, but that's okay for right now. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and change the mode back to RGB because I don't want to stay in LAB. And since I have some layers here, I do not want to flatten them. And now I'm going to go in. I'm going to hide my LAB sharpened image, go to the background, and I'm going to duplicate my background again. And I'm going to call this RGB. There. Now, let's sharpen the RGB, and I'm going to put the identical sharpening on the RGB image that I used on the LAB. I go under Filter, and all I have to do is up at the top here, this is the last state of the last filter that I used. So all I have to do is just click on this, or just have hit Command or Control F, and it'll put the same filter again on this. Now let's take a look at the LAB versus RGB. And the question is, do you see any differences? Well, I can see some very, very minor changes. And those changes are right down in this area. So let's enlarge this area here. That's going to be a little bit too much. I'm going to hold down my Option key and just click uh, once or twice to get it down to about 400%. Okay, this is the RGB, here's the LAB, <coughs> and you can see that in this area where I have the border between the, the really dark area and the lighter area, that there's a little bit of a change there, where there's a little less color contamination in LAB than there is in RGB. So this is the benefit of it. In this image, it's very subtle. If I had an image with a lot of color noise in it, it, uh, it would work a lot better. Let's take a look at another image, one that we had some color noise, and let's just see if we can tell the difference here. I'm not going to save this. Let's go over and let's look at our blimp image. Remember, our blimp image had some color noise in this yellow triangle. So let's take a look in that yellow triangle 
when we enlarge this up to 100%. And let's see if we can tell any difference between these two types of, uh, of sharpening. I'm going to go and change my image, change the mode to LAB. Now I'm going to duplicate my layer and call it LAB. And let's go over to the channel palette. Here's our lightness. Here's our A channel and the B channel. And I don't see a lot of color noise in here, not as much as we did in our RGB image, and we'll take a look at that again in just a moment. But let's go in and let's sharpen our lightness. So let's go in here. We're going to go to Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. And let's style this down a little bit. This is a little bit too much sharpening in here. Okay, there we go. And we can bring our radius up to about 108. All right, there we go. The image looks okay. And now let's look at the color image. And I, it looks fine. All right, now let's go back over to the Layers palette. Here's the non-sharpened and the sharpened image. Clicking that off and on. And now I'm going to go to my background layer, hit Command or Control J to get me another layer to sharpen in RGB. And I'm going to name that RGB. In order to sharpen an RGB, I have to take my image and go back to RGB mode. And I'm not going to flatten here. So let's just go in and let's work on this layer. Go to my channels palette. Here's my red, my green, and my blue. And you can see the blue channel is the one that had the noise in it. But we're just going to sharpen everything here. So let's uh, go to the RGB, and we're going to go to Filter, Unsharp Mask. So we just use the identical thing that we did before. And now let's take a look between the two. And uh, frankly, I don't see any difference. If we go in a little sharper, a little closer here, out to about 300%, there's the LAB, and there's the RGB. And again, I see a little difference out on the border of the image here where the LAB looks a little bit cleaner. There's a little bit of color that's introduced into the RGB image. But basically, that's sharpening in LAB.